Welcome back, guys. We are here on this Monday with a new episode for you, but it is a very different, important episode that we are having this week. And we wanted to give some space to a very important conversation that we've been meaning to have for a while now. And we feel that we can't continue without addressing this topic. And I want to read something that I wrote that I think conveys how Margot and I feel in a good way. And I don't want to misconstrue or convey the message improperly. So let's get into it. And that being said, we had a couple episodes a few weeks back that centered around Black Lives Matter. We had episodes on the coronavirus and how we were staying sane and things we were doing. And just, we, we talked a lot about what's going on in the world right now. And when we finished having those conversations and sort of shifted back to our normal episodes, we wanted to make it clear that just because we were kind of going back to some sort of normal, that the conversation would still continue, just maybe in a different way. And that's still true. But I wrote something down that I wanted to share to help explain how we're feeling right now and how that relates to what we're going to talk about today. It's hard to go back to normal when we're living in a global pandemic. It's hard to go back to normal when we're quarantining and social distancing from friends and family that we might not have seen since March. It's hard to go back to normal when the president has a crowd of hundreds of thousands of people at the White House for the Republican National Convention, not wearing masks, not sitting far apart, not sitting far apart from each other, yet we can't honor our family members with a funeral or we have to postpone weddings for at least a year. It's hard to go back to normal when there's a racial pandemic happening. It's hard to go back to normal when Jacob Blake was shot seven times, left paralyzed, yet is still handcuffed to his hospital bed. It's hard to go back to normal when a white kid kills two people in front of lots of witnesses, walks towards police with his assault rifle in his hand, and the police don't do anything about that. And then he gets all the way home, which was across state lines, before being arrested. It's hard to go back to normal when Breonna Taylor's ex-boyfriend has been taken into custody, yet her killers haven't been arrested 24 weeks later. All these things make it very hard to go back to normal or carry on in a normal way, life as usual. On a personal note, it's certainly hard for Margot and I to carry on with this podcast as normal, where we preach the importance of speaking out and fighting for equality and racial justice, yet possibly offending listeners with the name of our podcast, Pop Off Sis. So we know that a lot of work needs to be done in a lot of aspects of life, but one very big aspect of life is the words we choose to use, our everyday language that we communicate with. That leads me to the title of this podcast. When Lydia and I started the podcast, and if you go back to episode one, you'll actually hear us talking about it. We chose the title that we have because it was a pop culture podcast, and we also wanted to make it clear that with our personalities, we are people who speak up a lot, who love to talk and, and love to be loud and take up space. Um, and we felt that the title that we chose reflected that, that it reflected both pop culture and our personalities. Um, however, recently it has been brought to our attention that white people using the phrase pop off sis, especially in the manner I think that I used it on the show is cultural appropriation. This was definitely difficult news to receive seeing as though we'd already recorded maybe like 20 episodes, right? Like this started in November and I saw this very recently and um, I think there was a lot that I worried about because one, have I offended people in the past? Uh, am I continuing to offend people every episode? Two, this came right after we had released three or four, I can't remember how many uh, BLM 
centered podcast episodes in which I talked about the need for there to be change. And it seems a little, uh, it seems a little hypocritical to say, demand a need for change and yet not be a part of that change. I just want to make it clear that I wasn't aware that this phrase was cultural appropriation prior to finding this out recently. I wasn't aware. And every time I use it in the episode, I didn't think of it twice. I was just like, it's the name of our show. It's a phrase I've used, a phrase I've used before. And that was that. Um, so when this got brought to my attention, in terms of the podcast, I was thinking a lot. I was like, does this mean, what does this mean? Do we have to change the name? Do I have to go back into every single episode? Um, we've recently found a way that we can release the podcast on Spotify, right? But I was thinking about it and I was like, I don't want to put this podcast out on Spotify if I am offending people in it. So then I was like, does this mean going back to through every single episode and editing out every time I say that and inserting a different phrase? Um, and selfishly, I was also worried about the optics of it. Like, have people have been thinking for a while that like, this is wrong, that I am in the wrong? Have they known this? Have they felt uncomfortable? And also me wanting to be an entertainment. Uh, I also thought about my future. And I was like, what if somebody stumbles across this in 10 years and, um, and it reflects very negatively on me. Uh, so I, w I was having a lot of thoughts. And I, of course, came to Lydia because Lydia and I are in this together and she is a black woman and I value her opinion. And I think her opinion on this topic is important, but at the same time, Lydia doesn't represent all black women, right? She represents herself and like her community, but Lydia has made it clear, like she can't speak for everyone, just like, I couldn't speak for all women. Uh, and, and so what we have decided is that in the episodes, I will just not say that phrase. And in our last episode, it began. So like I can find other words that convey the same meaning, um, but don't use that specific phrase because I don't wanna steal language from anyone and you know i've had conversations about cultural appropriation with people before where they don't understand it so for my white friends out there who might not be understanding this i just want to make it clear that it's not fair to steal someone's culture a culture of a people that this country doesn't even recognize yet as people it's not borrowing it's not honoring right? As long as Black people are being killed uh, at the rate that they are, as long as they are seen as inferior in society, as long as there is systemic racism, it's never going to be like honoring that culture. It is just stealing it and making it mainstream for yourself, using Black words, Black art, Black culture to make the white person more powerful, more trendy, more more clickable, more entertaining. And that is theft. That is theft, simply. So yeah, that's kind of what we came on here to discuss. Uh, Lydia, of course, I want to give you some room to talk about this too, but I just won't be saying the phrase going forward. And I think that it, it actually is a doable, it's a very doable thing. And I don't think that means that we need to erase all of the work that we've done so far because Lydia and I have put a lot of time and hours and effort into this podcast. And I think that we've had some really incredible episodes and I'm very proud to be a part of this. Um, and, but a name is a big factor of a podcast and it's something that need, needed to be addressed. Yeah, I think that was wonderfully said. You hit on some very, very important things. So. I agree with everything you said, and I think me as a Black woman, you know, when we were brainstorming names, 
I, I didn't have an issue with that being the name. And I didn't think twice about Margo as a white woman saying that name throughout saying that slogan. So I, I, I guess I feel in a certain way that I might have, <clears throat> excuse me, failed in a way my own community because I didn't see an issue in that or I didn't, you know, get this instant, powerful, like passionate feeling of needing to change the name or, or getting angry at Margot or, or like demanding that she stop saying it. I didn't feel any of those things. So I think it's definitely important that we do get feedback as, as we, we have and, and have seen online, you know, because it helps us stop and think. But I also agree that I think the solution of us having Margot not say the name is, is a very, as you said, a very doable solution. I think it's a good idea because we have put in so much time and effort into making this brand of a podcast what it is. And as Marco said, you know, we are a pop culture podcast. It's, it's, it's honey. It's, it's part of the name reflects in a fun way what we talk about. So we don't want to erase that for sure. And this is our solution at the moment, but we are definitely open to feedback and any ideas any listeners have about even more solutions and what might be a better idea or um, a good next step, you know, we don't want to stop this conversation at all. So we want to make it clear that it's not, this isn't like, this is the only thing we're doing and we're sticking to our guns and, and we're not open to feedback because we are and it's important and it's only going to help us grow. We just want to make it clear that we're, we don't want to erase what we've done in terms of the hard work and, and, and the branding of things in general, but we want to hear anything and everything people have to say. And as always, you know, we love feedback and we love audience interaction. And so please, like, please DM us, please email us and let us know what you think about this. And if you feel, or if you have felt offended or frustrated in the past, um, you can also voice that and you can let us know that because I think, you know, this is a moment of growth and the more I can be educated about this, the better I will become and the more aware I will be, uh, which I think is important. So that's kind of what we have today. Um, the next episode is a very exciting episode, not to just plug that, but we have a very exciting author coming on. So please tune in in two weeks to hear that. Um, and, you know, we're just going to keep going forward with this because it's something that we love and something that we cherish, but we're always going to stay conscious of our decisions, of our words. I mean, Lydia, communication major extraordinaire. Um, she knows what, and we know what the power of words can be, and we just want to stay cognizant of that. Absolutely. I think this, it's a moment of reflection for sure, and we want to leave the space for this episode to sit for two weeks and to get your feedback and just really give this the importance that it deserves and is and give it the moment that it needs. And like we said, let's keep the conversation going. <laughs>